They got a beaver trail crossing the dam over here on this side. He was going in under this log right here, had him tied to it, he broke the cable. I see him floating out there from it. We'll pick him up, bring the trout back, reset it here in the beaver run. Got a real good cross over here. We'll just reach out here and get him. I like a pretty good sized beaver. Ah, he's about like the others we caught. Got him in a killer trap. Had the wire tied around the log. He either pulled it loose or broke it, one of the two. We'll get him up here on the bank and take the kind of bear trap off of him and reset it here. J-hook setter works real good for resetting your killer trout. What I like about it, it's small. You can just hang it on your waders. Don't lose it, it ain't hard to tote around. Another pretty good beaver. We are resetting the 330 kind of bear. Getting it ready to set back in the run here. I like my triggers pretty close together there, especially if the otter's in the area where if they go through it, you catch them. But the little water holder I was talking about, it just slides right in there, fits right in the trap. You got it where you just stick it down in the mud and it'll hold your trap up. You don't have to use your sticks. Still every once in a while I use a stick if I think it needs it, if it ain't firm enough. I leave my safety catches on to get it set. I fell across here. A good beaver run, you can feel it. We'll get your trout right in the center of the beaver run. Put it on this side of the log because more than likely he's coming from that direction. Just push it down in the mud. Make sure you flip your catches off. Take your war. I usually just tie it around the log. And then like I'll lay just a small stick across it in case he comes from this way. When he dives in under, you get him going both ways there. Don't take much, just a small stick to make him dive. We a better one here. We use a little bit better. That way we got a dive pole coming this way. Got a good pole drive. We're just crossing the dam there, coming that way. We should have another beaver here in the morning. Okay, these beaver teeth, see how long they are? They're constantly growing. They curved up in his head. If he didn't keep chewing on bark, trees, stuff, he'd grow up and grow. I've seen them where one tooth was deformed and growed all the way up into his teeth. I don't say I mean his gums, but they're constantly growing all the time. So he's gotta be chewing on bark, I mean trees or something hard to keep them wore down. He's got a good set of chunkers if he bites you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>